Hi guys, <clears throat> today I'm going to talk about uh, good um, bad boys and good men or good guys. Um, this is probably going to be the last video I really uh, do concerning this topic um, because there are lots of videos out there and articles and things that address this. None of them is ever completely accurate. No, it's not, nothing that I would say would be completely accurate. But um, ex except that I'm, we're adding, I'm adding something to the conversation for both men and women to look at. And I'm going to be speaking, of course, from a man's perspective. And um, it really comes down to the terminology used. You know, the bad boy. If you look at the word bad boy, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a man, but he's always referred to as a boy. A boy is an immature young man, lacking of experience or any kind of couth, um, behavioral uh, refinement. And uh, at least, you know, that's just a really simplified version of what a, a boy is. Um, it's like all oh, the bad girls out there um, type thing. But um, we're talking about a bad boy. Being a bad boy, um, the, way I, the way I look at it is that as a being a young and immature, um, being chased by, usually chased after by his mother to straighten himself up and do all this, go to school, you know, get a job, whatever. The mother always frets and worries over the bad boy because she's afraid he might be shot or killed one day or get beaten on the side of the road. And it kind of transfers, it seems to transfer like women that's uh, attracted to bad boys as a project. Um, something to be like a mother figure trying to nurture, change, alter this man who acts, who is acting immature, and um, and if successful, kind of boosts their ego, I would assume. But the reality is, no person, man or woman, has ever been able to change the way a person behaves. They have to want it themselves, and most of the times. Um, well, actually all the time they're, they're not really successful unless that man wants to change his life and something dramatic has to occur for something like that to typically happen, psychologically speaking. Now, the, <clears throat> the reality is women in their youths waste a whole lot of times with these bad boys and uh they're, they're basically being raped um their uh, energy their spirit their bodies uh they have children these guys disappear um their finances are drained they're stressing and things like that and they may find that some people find that appealing but um but for the most part they tend to fail I should say in the in any in a relationship with a bad boy um, and they fail to, to look at the, the numbers where there are more women than men so um, the pool gene the pool is already narrow in favor of men so when most of the most of the women out there chasing after the bad boys they're men that they're they're rejecting in that in that process who go on <clears throat> to become successful not all the time but you know typically pursue careers and um, by the time they're in their mid 30s and 40s they are fairly well established financially stable mentally spiritually emotionally um, and they're the ones and after being raped by the bad boys now these women want look around and wonder where are all the good good men gone well we were there in your youth and you rejected us because we were good men that's not what you wanted and because there are more women than men out there there are a few women out there who didn't get caught up in that crap and didn't really want the stress involved with messing with bad boys or they learn their lessons very early and 
they gave the good guys a chance and these good guys took them grew with them developed relationships developed uh, families with them and they're taken and the ones who are not taken um, who fa who who got tired of the rejections um, in their youth because you as a pretty young woman very attractive young woman refused us because we were too nice or too what's the word creepy um, so instead of dealing with that constant rejection you may say uh, you know look at us as look at uh, you know, good men as quitters you know we ain't time for that good men don't have time for that so we focus on our education on building our, our bank accounts uh, buying our houses and things like that and um, now uh, when you look up in your mid 30s or 40 late early 40s or you know late 30s for the good guys and you see us uh, some of us are single still we're no longer interested in you because you're old and so we as bad boys we as good guys would be looked at as bad boys because we 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 are rejecting you it's the it's the role has been reversed we don't want the bad girl we wanted a bad girl in our youth and they didn't want us so we we're looking for the good girls and um, we will remain good good men to the few women in their youth that like that want to be with a good guy or a good man from the get go. And there's a saying that a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. We would never take one bird that's old as dirt in <laughs> and be content with that when they're you know the concept doesn't apply to the two young birds in the bush that we can go after and most successfully win over because we're rich now we're wealth we're not i'm not talking about like billion dollar or million dollar rich but we have wealth and we have a good uh, comfortable lifestyle that we can attract young women now with money and structure and stability which we didn't have in our youth had we had those in the things in our youth, you our in our youth, you guys, women that uh, were chasing the bad boys, would have given us a chance, and um, chances are we will play with those young women because we know that they're not they're interested in us because of our wealth, and uh, that would probably make us bad boys in your definition, but. Um, we are actually going after what we want now and are succeeding in what we want. And um, just like how women use men, um, in some cases we are using women as uh, the good as the good men. However, if that one, if there's someone special that is in that younger uh, bracket um, that really appreciates us. Uh, and is actually supporting us and helping us in her own way it's highly likely we're going to marry that person regardless of how much wealth we have or it's highly likely we're going to stay with that person because she appreciates a good man and she's young enough for us to appreciate and that may be shallow but you guys as women were shallow when you're always chasing after the the bad boys bad boys not good guys or good men you were chasing after boys so who are you to tell us we can't chase after girls good girls <laughs> you know but with that aside we we are chasing this concept of good boy you know bad boys and good and good men and um in in the larger scheme of things it all comes down to our cho the choices that we made and by by women rejecting the bad the good boy the good men it allowed good men to develop and grow and though there's some growing pains within that it allowed us to appreciate a good woman when she comes along 
and a lot of times it's not you, not you because you're old and you have kids by bad boys that we do not want the responsibility of raising and if we do take all that responsibility it's because you as a woman is something very very special that we admire so if you have any questions ask it in the comment section down below like subscribe uh, and again this is probably this is most likely gonna be the last video I make on this you know bad boy good good man thing good men are there we've always been around uh, we've we always we known the pain of rejection by beautiful young women when we were young and broke and uh, didn't fit into the alpha male or uh, stereotype where we you know semi jokes or, or things like that don't care kind of attitude and um, and we went on and cared enough for ourselves and develop ourselves to be better men fine you know financially mentally emotionally spiritually physically and um, I'll be damned if I give myself with all this value that I've developed to any woman you know who allowed herself to be who chase after the bad boy the bad boys and then want me to take care of her and the baggage that she's bringing most likely his ba his bastard kids and um i don't want to be part of that and does that make me a bad boy if it does that's fine but i will not be taking on anybody's baggage because i didn't create it and I have no intentions of fixing those things so make the right choices when you're young give the good guy a chance that creep that you think is a creep or you look at as a creep that man you look at as a creep he's the one that's turning out to be the good guy the good man you're looking for but you're too short-sighted in your youth to see that and you're following what all these other little girls and boys are saying on your friends and things like that and that's where you're getting caught up because you you want to impress your friends and what better way to impress your friends than to date somebody that's good why do you all have to be always be happy be be um, overjoyed to be dating a bad boy as though that's the best thing since sliced bread if that's where you all are you're gonna reap the consequences of your choices just like how I'm reaching reaping the consequences of my choices and um, frankly, my choices have turned out pretty darn good. Y'all have a good night.